Hey guys, DB Right here, and today we're back with another movie review. This time, The Strangers Chapter 1. Having just seen it last night, I thought it'd be fun to do a review on it since I am now adding movie reviews to the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. I didn't know what to expect seeing this movie. I'd only seen the original. 2008 film with Liv Tyler once a long time ago and normally I don't really watch horror movies particularly like this one ones about random attacks and seemingly mindless murder and mayhem mostly because they feel a little bit real to me like a little bit too real like they could really happen And it do, things like this actually do happen to people. So yeah, usually I tend to stay away from them. But, nevertheless, I managed to drag myself to this one, nevertheless. And, despite the fact I don't normally watch these type of horror movies, I will give it my fair assessment. Anyway... I pulled through, and it turns out I had a good time watching the movie, having fun watching all the ambush scares. Not jump scares, I'm meaning ambush scares. What I mean by ambush scares is something different. So yeah, I had fun this time around. I guess I was actually in the mood for it. Now again... I'll try to be fair about this one, because rumour has it there are at least two more of these movies coming. And that this is basically a relaunch, and they want to make a proper trilogy out of it this time. So I think that'll be interesting. Now, to be honest, I was kind of hoping we'd get more of an origin movie this time. Yeah, an origin story movie this time around. Because, well, this was supposed to be the relaunch, the first one. And I think it'd be interesting to see why the Strangers decided, you know, it'd be a good idea. We should become serial killers and attack random people. Oh, yes, that would be a great idea. Let's do it. I really want to see what their, their whole story is what their reasoning behind it is i know i know they were home right come on not buying it there's got to be more to it hope um hopefully we'll get that in the next two films now what i thought about this film first I like the setting. I like how they're in the middle of nowhere. The woods. The bush. All that terrain that um, the actors could use to bring the film to life. And with me, that had a certain realism since um, me being an air cadet and would participate in bivouacs and play ambush games... So, um, those sort of resonated with me very, very well. I could appreciate the, um, effort that everyone on the film went through in order to make this movie. So, I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't go with, um, the, origi the original setting. Th those similar, as far as, um the house or cab cabin is concerned but the terrain outside all that bush and places to hide i felt it sort of um evened out the playing field for the protagonist or victims depending what you want to call them as well as the strangers so 
I felt like the movie could have gone either way. So that made it a bit less predictable and made the scares a bit more genuine than just your typical jump scare where they, where most horror movies try to get a cheap laugh out of you. Oh, a cheap laugh and a scare out of you, I should say. The, the scares felt a little bit more terrifying and um as you watch the victims go through this you could i felt it was almost like you're experiencing the terror with them even even the bits where um where um it's seemingly quiet it's peaceful even then you you, you could just feel that dread that Something was about to happen. You didn't know what. You couldn't predict it. But it wasn't a matter of um, how, but when. And since finding out that this basically is a relaunch, or even you know, some might call it a reboot, it was a, it's a restart of the whole franchise, I'm glad they stuck with the classic loud bangs at the door. And, um... Yeah, they do... Let's just say they do keep it to the classic tone of the original. A bit. At least a certain bit. I'm really trying not to spoil it for you guys. In fact, I'm going off script. Script. Naughty. So... So yes, I do feel it had a lot of elements from the original 2008 films. Because, well, it's a relaunch, it's going to. And I hope they actually stick to it and actually finish the franchise this time. Yeah, nothing, nothing annoys me more, more about films when they start a film franchise that they want to make it a franchise and then they go, no, nah, wasn't good enough, not going to do it. Because it, um, it's just bad for the people that did get invested into the film so i hope this doesn't turn out to be one of those because yeah um even though i like i said i don't tend to watch these type of really realistic type horror movies much the strangers has something that I don't know, um, makes it more enjoyable, like, like, yeah, I, I can't, I can't explain it. As said, I felt the film had real suspense, which is rare, rare in slasher flicks these days. Didn't just rely on the jump scares. And yep, um, and like I said, even when the protagonists were um, hiding somewhere or it was nice and quiet for a while, you were just on the edge of your seat the entire time. You didn't know when and what was going to happen next. You just knew the strangers were around and ultimately it was just a fun slasher flick to go and watch. So yeah, I'd say if you really want to see a movie that's like a thrill ride, I'd recommend The Strangers, Chapter 1. Though, I suggest you take my advice and don't watch it like a remake. I prefer to think of this more as a side story to the, um, to the, um, original two films we got previously. That way, you know, they're just extra films. Just, um, you know, New, new victims each time. You, you sort of get my mindset. So that's that's what I did when I went and saw the um, saw this movie. Because so I'd heard the rumours that this was basically a reboot. I went in there thinking, no, they're not going to use the same characters. There'll be there'll be different victims. I'm pretty sure, but they'll. But I knew they'd keep it close to the um, elements of the original as well certain characteristics from a previous film if you were so 
that's about it for my review. So, um, I do recommend it if you just want to have a fun, roughly 90 minutes, have a fun, quick 90 minutes and kick back with popcorn and soda and just, just enjoy the ride. Cause it's definitely one of those type of movies where you just sit back and enjoy the ride basically. So, this is D.B. Rice signing off, and I'll be back next time for more. More of these reviews.